Hey guys, it's Dr. West, and in this video, we're talking food sensitivity testing. Food intolerance testing, it's a super important test, and in my opinion, it's very underutilized in the healthcare space. So in this video, I'm going to explain why it's so important to be tested and who could benefit the most from testing. But before we get into it, quick background on me. My name is Dr. Jamie West, and I've been in practice for a little over 12 years at this point. I've helped thousands of patients get healthy from a functional standpoint, but we use food uh, sensitivity testing essentially as pillar number one. We have to get our foods right. That's something that we do every day, and there's so many people out there with food confusion. So in the world of weight loss and weight loss resistance, I call infobesity, where there's so much coming at you. You have keto, paleo, plant-based, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. What do I do? I've got food confusion. So getting food tested breaks through that confusion and provides clarity for you. It's objective. We use third-party labs that do the analysis, and it's black and white, yes or no. It's get rid of this food for three months, get rid of this food for six months, let's heal your gut. This is my acceptable food list based on how my immune system is reacting to foods. So tying into that, there's three main reasons why we test. You might want to grab a notebook, but there are three reasons why. Number one is that it takes pressure off your gut. It takes the stress off your gut. People's guts are a mess, and we know that most disease and dysfunction starts in your gut. So if you have constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating, you eat something and you're like, oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Was it the dairy, the eggs, the gluten? Was it something else? Again, there's the confusion. So people's guts are a mess. And what this does is it takes the stress off your gut. That's reason number one. Reason number two is that it takes stress off the immune system. So ultimately, when we test, we're looking at your immune system to determine exactly how your immune response is reacting and responding. Because we have over 50 million Americans with an autoimmune condition. That's one in six people. Autoimmune, lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid, uh, celiac, Crohn's, Hashimoto's. There's roughly 140 labels of an autoimmune condition, and it's because our guts are a mess. We keep eating the wrong foods that our immune system does not like. Eventually, our immune system turns on itself, starts attacking our own tissues. It may attack the thyroid. That's called Hashimoto's. It might attack the nervous system. That's called multiple sclerosis. That's reason number two. We have to take the stress off the immune system. And reason number three is that it reduces inflammation. By eating the wrong foods, we're driving inflammation. So about 10 or 11 years ago, this book showed up in my clinic. I didn't order it. I didn't buy it. It just magically showed up. And it was called Your Hidden Food Allergies Are Making You Fat. However, it was all about sensitivities and intolerances and inflammation. It was over 300 pages of science and research about how food sensitivities spike inflammation and blood sugar in your body. We know that a lot of disease and dysfunction has an inflammatory root cause where inflammation is a driving factor. It's like the fuel that full, the fire that's fueled, you know, it's the fuel to the fire. So when you look at heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, Alzheimer's, they all have an underlying inflammatory root cause. And we know that eating the wrong foods drives that inflammation. Guys, those are the three main reasons why we test. So who could benefit? Weight loss resistance. You've done it all and you're stuck. You're stalled, you're plateaued. That's step one, among other things, but that's your starting point. Gut dysfunction. We talked about that. Brain fog, anxiety, depression, you're mentally cloudy, you're just forgetful. Where are my keys? Where's my phone? Where's this, that? You're not as mentally sharp as you should be. We have to look at the gut. So there's something called the gut-brain axis. Essentially, your gut is connected to your brain via the vagus nerve. So if your gut is a mess, this brain is often a mess as well. Just like with ADHD kids, again, going back to anxiety, depression, brain fog, we have to look at the gut. Skin problems. So you might have eczema or psoriasis, acne, rashes. So oftentimes there's a food component there. You may have chronic aches and pains, joint pain. You may have itises. Remember itis, whether it's bursitis, tendonitis, arthritis, plantar fasciitis, gastritis in your stomach. Itis just means inflammation. So we have to address the root cause of that, and oftentimes it's foods leading to that inflammation. 
What about autoimmune? Do you have an autoimmune condition? Food testing is step one. And again, it's very underutilized. It's super, super important. So let's take an objective, black and white. Look at the foods that you should be eating. So if you want to get tested, if you're checking the boxes with all those symptoms, and again, there are more symptoms than what I talked about, but I just wanted to kind of map out the most common ones. If you want to get tested, then your next step is to click the button. Let's set up a one-on-one -on -one discovery call just to make sure that it makes sense. It's not pushy. It's not high pressure cells. It's simply a chance for us to ask each other questions and determine if food sensitivity testing would make sense for you. So I will be giving you a call at the time that you choose. You just click the button, fill out your information, go grab a time slot that makes sense, and we'll talk about whether this is something that you need to do. So thanks for watching. Talk soon and take care.